Okay, this is the conclusions of the uh, vampire loads. One of the things I want to say first is the reason I did this, I go on national TV, I watch some really ignorant person tell a bunch of things about vampire loads that they really didn't even understand themselves. And I thought, you know, maybe I should test a few of these things because I already pretty much knew that the vampire loads are not as big a deal as they used to be. And I'll be able to demonstrate that with some of these things. Couple this one with the last one I did and I'll show you the comparison of these things. You know, when manufacturers are told that there's a problem with their product like this, that it uses too much power, between government uh, regulation and just the factories themselves, they figure it out. And uh, most of these guys that talk on TV, even though they're on national TV, are uh, pretty much behind the curve. So anyway, this is what I come up with on the conclusions for the vampire loads. Okay, the first one I'm going to compare is this older cable box. And I'll put the numbers up here and let's figure out how, how much this is going to cost you per month. Okay, now I want to explain the numbers I come up with in this older cable box. This cable box, which was made over 10 years ago and does not have the high efficiency they have now, took 0.19 amps when it's turned off. Actually, I think it's almost the same when it was off or on. Okay, times 120.4 equals 22.9 watts. Okay, that's about like a 25 watt light bulb running all the time. Okay, now I've multiplied the 22.9 watts times 595 hours. So where did I get the 595? There are 744 hours in a 31 day month. I assume the cable box is going to be on and used for 20% of the time. So when I back out 20%, I end up with 595 hours where this cable box is operating, but it's not being used. Okay, now I multiply that out, I end up with the 22.9 watts times the 595 hours equals 13.6 kilowatt hours. Okay, watts and kilowatts, fairly obvious here. A watt is a watt, a kilowatt is a thousand watts. Okay, now I'm gonna multiply that times 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, this is a variable in here. Does your electrical cost 10 cents, 11 cents, 12 cents, eight cents, nine cents, I don't know, I come up with this ballpark number. So, if it's 10 cents per kilowatt hour, it's gonna cost a dollar and 36 cents a month to operate. Okay, this is the most inefficient product I found here, and it was a dollar 36 per month to operate when it's not being used. Okay, now we're gonna go on to some of the other equipment that I did. Okay, now we're gonna do the TV set, which is a newer TV set that was on top of that cable box that I did in the other video, and let's look at the numbers on it. Okay, here I've taken that uh, TV set that I showed in the uh, last video. When it's off, it takes three one-hundredths of an amp times the voltage 122 equals 3.66 watts. Times that same 595 hours, because the cable box and the TV are on at the same time, equals 2.18 kilowatt hours 
times 10 cents per kilowatt hour equals a monthly cost of 21 cents. Okay, you can see uh, the TV, being a more modern TV, has uh, reduced some of its draw when it's off down to costing 21 cents. Okay, I again tried this on the newer cable box. This one's about a year old. And I'm going to show you the numbers on this one. Now with the newer cable box, we had 0 0.017 amps times 123 volts, which gave us 2.09 watts. Again, times my 595 equals 1.24 kilowatts times our 10 cents per kilowatt hour, which means the newer cable box will cost about 12 cents per month. Okay, and here's the iPhone, and we're going to do the calcs on the iPhone charger. I did this with the iPhone charger also. And I was point, showing 0 0.008 or 8 thousandths of an amp on a charger. When we get this low, I'm a little bit antsy about there being any real value to these numbers. I'm going to follow them through, but essentially this is zero. Okay, 0 0.008 times 121 volts equals 0.97 watts per hour times 699 hours. And the reason I use the 699 is I assumed the unit would not be charging the phone 90% uh, of the time and 10% it would. Okay, that equals 0.68 kilowatt hours times my 10 cents per kilowatt hour equals 7 cents per month. Okay. Here's the total number I came up with. I added all these things together and it cost $1.76 a month to operate it. Now, I multiplied that times four in case you have many more units of about the same usage and that would be $7.04. Okay, that should be a fairly accurate number for the number of uh, piece of equipment you've got in your house. So, uh, the numbers I've heard is vampire loads are 20% of your electricity usage. And that don't come out, does it? So, uh, you know, the conclusion on this is that most of the uh, reports have been at the very least overblown. The equipment does not use that much power. Now I've only thrown in a few of these things uh, to show their usage. I checked probably 10 or 12 and I got fairly similar numbers. Uh, you know, if you have a computer in your house and it's off, it's going to take a little bit too. But you know, all these things take small amounts of power. But you know, they have to operate. And so this is what you pay for. it. It's not like if you, you know, you had a $150 electric bill um, and $30 of it was going to uh, vampire loads. That is pure baloney. So if anyone has any other ideas and can find out where my math is messed up, uh, where my calculations in some way are messed up, I'd love to hear from you. And you send me a video saying me how it should be done. But at this point, this is the way I look at this. And the next time you see some ding dong on the TV telling you something he knows nothing about, think about this video. That's it on this one.